Hello friends, welcome back to Aurab Associates. Today we will solve these 30 warnings for this G plus 6 story building as we said in the last episode. So at first select them all and copy them. Take a notepad and paste them. Here you can see that at story 7, B18 and L30 are overlapping each other. Here B18 is the level of structural beam and L30 is the level of non-beam. You can see that the similar warning is also available for story 6, 5, 4, 3 and story 2. Let's solve them. Go to ETAPS. From here, select Set Display option, then go to Object Assignment. Under Frame Assignment, select Labels. Then click on Apply. Here you can see that this is L30, which is a non beam, and this one is B18. Basically, at this portion, at this portion, both B18 and L30 beam is available. As a result, they are overlapping each other. So, uh, select them. Select this uh, B18 beam by pressing Ctrl on the keyboard. As a result, you can see that at this position, both B18 and L30 available. But for this portion, that means only for this portion, if we click control on the keyboard and then select this L30 at this portion, you can see that at this portion there is only L30. So, we have to delete the unnecessary part of L30 beam at this portion only. Okay. So, what will we do? At first, we will check the loading values for this uh, L30 beam or a non beam basically this is not a structural beam here you can see that uh, uniform force uh, is uh, 6.77 kilo newton per meter and load pattern is pwl that means partition wall load okay and for this b18 if we check the loading value you can see that there is no load okay basically we applied the load of a brick wall for this l30 okay so if we delete if we delete uh, this portion of l30 in that case we have to assign that 6.77 kilo newton per meter load at this structural beam okay now select all stories from here and then select l30 beam l30 beam and also select the grid point I am doing this again, select L30 beam and this grid point. Now, from this option, divide the frame. Here, select break at intersection with selected frame and joints. Then, apply. Now, you can see that ETFs named this uh, null beam or non beam as L2 and this one is uh, same as B18. Okay. Now, if you select this portion, you can see that uh, the portion of uh, this beam which were available in this part, now not in this model. It has deleted this beam automatically and also check the loading value for V18. You can see that this uh, 6.77 load which was present at the non beam has been transferred to the V18 beam. Okay. Now, check for other floats. Okay, you can see that this is fine. Now, analyze the structure again. I mean, check model. Go to analyze and check the model again. Click on OK. Okay, now you can see that in this structure, only 24 warnings are available. Now, select them again and copy them. Then, go to the notepad again and paste them. 
here the issue is line load L16 is not being transferred and the load pattern is PWL. For uh, samely um, for L17 beam load is not being transferred and the load pattern is PWL and the same warning is also available for other floors. Come back to ETAPS. Here basically you can see that uh, this is L17 beam or non beam and this one is L16 non beam. Here the reason of this warning is that we have modeled these two beam at the position where, where there is no slab. Okay. But if you see the plan view, you can feel that definitely there have a slab. But basically, this is a landing slab. Okay. If you go to the 3D view, you can understand this uh, more easily. Here, if I select this beam and this beam, basically they are not a structural beam. I am say, uh, saying it again and again. You can see that we modeled these two beam where there is no slab. Basically, we wanted to model these two beam at this and this portion. That means at the position of landing slab, but mistakenly we uh, did so. So, what will we do? At first, we will check the loading values. Here for this non-beam, loading value is 7.6 kN per meter and load pattern PWL. Similarly, for this beam, 8.47. Okay. Now select them all, select them all and delete them. Okay. Now go to select, select and go to properties, then slab section. Here we just need to see landing slab, press select, then close. Now right click of mouse and click on show selected objects only. Now we will model this two beam again. From here, select property, none, then go to any landing slab, select this joint and this joint, then from this joint to this grid point. Okay. Now apply loading values. For this beam, loading value is 7.6 kN per meter. So go to assign frame sorry frame load distributed then pwl 7.6 kN per meter we are applying okay similarly select this beam and apply pwl 8.47 kN per meter and apply okay now select one story but we can't see this option here if you face this problem you can select show undeformed shape then you will find this option now select one story we don't need this two beam okay and we also don't need this two beam because there is no landing slab in our structure okay so delete them now right click of mouse and click on show selected Sorry, show all objects. Now analyze the structure again. That means, uh, sorry again, let's check the model again. Click on OK. OK. Finally, you can see that model has been checked and no warning messages were generated. By this way, you can solve overlapping error and also uh, line load transfer issue. That's all for today. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.